Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video we are tracking Tropical Depression 4 and its chances of rapidly intensifying into Hurricane Debbie before making landfall with the Big Bend area of Florida and the southeast coast of the United States. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltibbets.com for Saturday, August 3rd, 2024. The black arrow is Tropical Depression 4, just off the north coast of Cuba right now. Then we have two tropical waves we're monitoring in purple and pink that are in the main development region, working westward towards the Caribbean islands. Here's their vorticity signatures, which are becoming more circular in nature, especially with TD4, as it's on its approach to the eastern Gulf of Mexico, where it could rapidly intensify into a, uh, at least a tropical storm, maybe even a hurricane before landfall. Here's our first purple tropical wave moving westward. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of a spin, but nothing closed off at the moment, so no concern as of right yet. And then this is our other tropical wave further out east near Africa, and it is to also moving westward. Here is TD4. Its center has just emerged over the waters between Florida and Cuba and now will be working its way in a northwest direction towards the eastern Gulf of Mexico and then eventually turning northeast, potentially towards the Big Bend region of Florida where we have hurricane watches in effect in pink, as you can see here, where as it could potentially rapidly intensify into a hurricane it's right now only forecasted to be a tropical storm but the possibility is there here's the key messages for tropical depression four on the left is in english on the right is in spanish you can pause to take the chance to read this but here's the spaghetti track guidance models showing where this storm can go over the next five to seven days you can see it could re-emerge back into the Atlantic where again it will have a chance to re-intensify and potentially become a hurricane once more if it becomes a hurricane in the Gulf and you can see that with the model intensity guidance here with the with the W shape where it can rapidly intensify weaken upon landfall and then re-intensify if it gets over waters in the Atlantic once more. So let's look at the GFS model and see where our tropical waves and TD4 go over the next seven days. Black is TD4, purple and pink are our two tropical waves in the MDR region. And you can see we have our upper level ridge over not only TD4, but also one trying to form over our purple tropical wave. That's gonna create low wind shear environments to protect their moisture bubbles from the Saharan air layer. So let's move 24 hours from now to Sunday, August 4th. And you see we have a rapidly intensifying storm just to the west of Florida down to a 1,001 millibar low pressure system. With those very warm temperatures of the sea surface of the eastern Gulf of Mexico of 30 to 31 degrees Celsius, that's gonna allow it to continually, almost rapidly intensify uh, almost to landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida down to a 986 millibar low pressure system which is borderline hurricane strength potentially could strengthen even faster than that with those water temperatures but this is a conservative rapid intensification it's got that possibility with that upper level ridge overhead low wind shear environment and very warm waters of the gulf of mexico we could see ourselves rapidly intensify into a major hurricane but I'm not, I don't want to go that far yet, but the potential is there. The setup is there. So here's the upper level ridge that we'll have as it continues moving in that direction of the Big Bend region of Florida. Again, that low wind shear environment and the uh, huge amount of moisture. So it's going to dump a lot of rain onto Florida and the southeast United States, especially if it stalls off the east coast of the United States back in the Atlantic. So here we are again moving forward. This is where we are two days from now on Monday, August 5th. And then we have a re emerging back into the waters on Tuesday. 
and this is where we could see it stall out for a little bit and sit over the Gulf of Mexico. And if it's over water and not over land, it could re-intensify just sitting there over the Gulf Stream. And it's stalling because of this blocking high pressure uh, ridge in the middle levels of the atmosphere. So here it is on Wednesday, August 7th, still pretty much there, but you can see because it's over water, lowering the pressure back down to 994. And then here on Thursday, trying to make another landfall as it, because it's stalled, it's being pushed once more back inland with the Bermuda Azores high. So this is Thursday, August 8th. And you still see our tropical waves also moving through the purple one, moving through the Caribbean islands at this point, but still hasn't developed because of a high wind shear environment it's got to move through in the Eastern Caribbean. But you can see just before a secondary landfall with what the Carolinas or Georgia, the storm is back down to a 988 millibar low pressure system, potentially almost another hurricane as it makes a secondary landfall on the east coast of the United States. And you can see the moisture that it's being pulled up by this storm, Deb, uh, Debbie, also connecting with our tropical wave in the eastern Caribbean, which is connected to moisture from South America. So you have this large conveyor belt of moisture just coming from South America through the Caribbean and our tropical wave connecting to potentially uh, Debbie at this point. Then we get to Friday, August 9th, and TD4, Debbie, will have worked its way inland to South Carolina, North Carolina area. Purple tropical wave continues to move towards Central America, but not developing just yet. And then potentially it could move to Belize by the time we get to next Saturday, August 10th, where it has a chance of developing in the Gulf of Honduras or the Western Caribbean if it's a little bit further to the north. And we have WTD4 weakening at this point over land. European models showing something very similar, where we have it moving into the Big Bend region of Florida, sitting in the Gulf Stream, and then re-intensifying into a secondary landfall into the Carolinas before shooting off towards Canada by day 10. And we see our purple tropical wave move through the Central America, but not quite developing on, the, on there. Here's the ensemble models showing where our three tropical entities can go over the next seven days. And as you can see, all eyes will be pretty much on TD4, which could become Hurricane Debbie potentially. And we'll keep an eye on that purple tropical wave because it too, depending on its track, uh, could potentially develop into our next tropical system as well. So here's Tropical Depression 4 potentially becoming Debbie later on today or tomorrow morning into tropical storm and potential in to intensify to a low category one hurricane. Very low chance right now. It could be even a major hurricane with those conditions being ripe with the warm sea surface temperatures and upper level ridge overhead. And then let's not forget those other tropical waves for our folks in the Caribbean because it too has that small chance for development as it gets in past the Eastern Caribbean and into the Western Caribbean region. Uh, as a reminder, we have super things available on the Ciphering Weather. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Darcy for donating to yesterday's channel. So thank you very much. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.